Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for tuning in. Happy Memorial Weekend. Reach the Top Podcast, Season 1, Episode 3. The Rise and Growth of Young Entrepreneurs is our topic for today. Also, Imperial Gift Promotions. Need any promotion for small business, clothing, modeling, music, beauty, or health products, and more, go to ImperialGiftPromotions.com or contact them on social media, Facebook at Imperial Gift Promotions, Twitter at Imperial Gift Pro, Instagram at Imperial Gift Promo. Also, want your content mentioned on our podcast show, please email us at ReachTheTopPodcast at gmail.com. So guys, you all tuned in. The gift. Um, me, my Sanders is not with us this week. Um, it's a hot weekend holiday. Salute, salute. Um, so today we're going to talk about the rise and growth of young entrepreneurs. So we're going to speak on millennials. Millennials are taking entrepreneur entrepreneurship by storm. With the big thanks to social media and many other online platforms, the young entrepreneurs can now connect with a new diverse audience more than ever. So now, with that being said, millennials are new gener is one of our new generations, and um, basically, a lot of millennials are now becoming entrepreneurs, and they have this big big platform well it's many different platforms but it's one big source um the social media source which has many different platforms like the twitters the instagrams the facebook's google plus tumblr you name it so now social media gives these entrepreneurs a platform to you know perform on So, have you noticed how big court businesses, small businesses, and, on, and entertainers all across, all crossed over this, into social media branding marketing, which now gives the audience the chance to connect with their favorite brand or entertainer? So now, even the bigger celebrities and bigger stars from TV or our, our favorite musicians, uh, we have more of a closer personal outlook when it comes to our favorite entertainers. Now we can always go to their page, their posts at least 10 times a day, and you see all their events of what they're going through. So it's a good it's a good experience and it's a bad it, it's it's good and it can be bad because you know uh just before the social media platform actually blew up the entertainers had more privacy I mean you will have to wait a long time or you know a lot of the the news that we get now and receive so rapidly would be so exclusive in that sense, um, let's talk about what the social media now means to millennials with dreams of owning their own business or becoming an entertainer. So, many young people with dreams of owning their own business, small business or becoming an entertainer now have platforms to promote their content and organically grow an audience. 
that takes inter, inter, interest in liking to their brand. Amongst the most successful businesses, brands, and entertainers, the young entrepreneurs still manage to grow. When the audience take a special liking to a brand or entertainer, they are willing to share the content they enjoy amongst fam- friends, family, and you know, um, even co-workers, which can result into potential growth of the audience. So now, as an independent artist, you have these platforms where you can. Share music, comedy, uh, little skits, and things of those natures where you can actually build off of people sharing your content. You can grow off of people sharing your content. And with that being said, that's the age we're living in, social media age, where, you know, a click of a button, somebody from across the country or even out of the state can actually view what's going on in your world. All right. So now... Now, we mostly all know of the big businesses and entertainers such as fast food corps, restaurants, clothing brands, models, news, magazines, sports, musicians, actors, authors, and many others. All right, those are all like the big businesses now. You know, like, you know, McDonald's, uh, Burger King, and. Checkers and all the Sonic, all these fast, big fast food corps. And that actually gives you know their brand and their fan base. Something to actually look forward to when using these social media platforms to share their content or, you know, day-by-day life, even if it's jogging or, you know, things of that nature. So with that being said, now with the young entrepreneurs now have a chance to create a profitable brand and engage with their fans or consumers because the blueprint of online marketing has been mapped out. You heard that, guys? The blueprint of online marketing has already been marked out. Mapped out, excuse me. Mapped out. So there's actually steps and, you know, procedures where these new millennials and that want to be entrepreneurs, they have, you know, certain guidelines they can follow to actually support and bring their brand into a bigger light. With the millennials are now noticing they do not need major help. Even though, in some cases, when these young entrepreneurs do business with major companies, it's to grow and expand their brand even bigger than the results they have received on their own. So, as a young entrepreneur, let's just say if you're an artist, a musician, you are currently building your brand. To the point where either you have a a big enough fan base to catch the eyes of a major label. Or you create a big enough fan base where you would never need another a deal from a major label. And can just operate independently in how you 
want to operate. With that being said, so we have an example. There are plenty of young independent artists from 2012 to present that to to the present time, excuse me, to the present time that actually became popular off of social media receiving millions of plays on their music videos. But when it was time to release an album, they make sure they're signed under a major label for a bigger distribution or they were signed to a major for their own label deal to be able to manage their own artists. Which I don't knock at all. If you're an artist and you have talent around you and you have that opportunity to create your own label and you and these artists that you have around you with talent, why not actually, you know, get a deal where you can sign, you can sign them and they don't have to deal with nobody but you. And you can give them that opportunity of becoming, you know, the next big thing. But you you have to put yourself in that position first. So, yeah. With that being said, also... When it comes to the artist, when it comes to the artist wanting to, when it comes to the artist actually wanting to, you know, sign just so that they can release their album and get a bigger distribution, sometimes a one year deal, yeah, no, no problem. A one year deal might not be that bad. It might not be that bad. And then, you know, after that, if the album does great and your fan base is, you know, solidified after that first album, then, you know, that's when you can actually continue after that as an independent artist, build your brand and then start releasing independent, independently. Release your albums independently and then see where that takes you. You see what I'm saying? Where you uh, have all your royalties and you own your masters. Which should be the, you know, the ideal of becoming, you know, an artist. You want to own your, you want to, you want to own your own music. Why not do it smart and, you know, try to own your own music right then and there, right? But, um, yeah, we seen, we seen a, 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 a lot of rappers lately come out with one song on the internet. One great song, too. It would probably be nice, catchy at the time. And then next thing you know, no more music. Or the music that the artist is putting... Is re- that, excuse me. The music that the artist is releasing is not actually creating... No more... Bu- like, no buzz. Like, the first song that they put out and you know some of these artists you know um become victim of their own success at times which you know it happens it happens to the best of us well not us but the artists 
it happens to the best of them, the ones that get the big hits and can't continue to deliver. So you know. But that's that's what life is, you know, you, you know you keep trying until you succeed, right? You just don't quit. You gotta keep trying. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Um So yeah. With that being said, think think ahead, map out, map out your ideas. It's always good to have a record of your ideas, just in case you know it's something just to follow. Why not have something to follow? Why not want nothing to, you know, want something that you have to follow? And then, yeah, about to go. So, yeah, uh... It's all about, you know, being creative and making the most sense. Making the most sense out of your situation. Being on, you know. All right, all right, all right. So now we're going to go into our song break. We have... Visuality featuring Warren Young, unbelievable. Damage. 
Heart full of pain, now the hope shattered. Feelings got strained. Every thought battle lost more strain. Back and forth, like a court battle. Trying to get back to that point where we both matter. The kissing and the hugging, now we moving backwards. The difference in our love, we couldn't put it past us. Now you up with someone else, I don't know what happened. Everybody when it tell me who losing They saying what they got Talking like it's high But they ain't got me Rolling with the rock Strong cause I'm high But they ain't got me Stepping foot in the lobby The only way is to the top But they ain't got me Nah, they ain't got me They not 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 me, nah, they not me. They what they got Talking like it's high But they ain't got me with the rock, strong cause I'm high But they ain't not me Stepping foot in the lobby The only way is to the top But they ain't not me Nah, they not me Alright, we back, we back, we back Alright, now let's Let's Give it up for Alexander the Gift. They Not Me, produced by Mr. High Roger. All right. So now, 
another venture for millennials. Another venture for millennials are now web series. Web series is another venture now that we're starting to see spread across YouTube. Um, young entrepreneurs are creating storylines of nonfiction, in fiction that tell stories that tell stories about real life situations or fantasy of a lifestyle that the creator wants to express. So now, for example, web series are a big hit. In one specific web series, Money and Violence, landed a deal with Liongate, entitled which the creator keeps creative control, but a bigger push in distribution so that web series can now reach many different platforms other than YouTube. Now moving on to independent comedy. Have you heard of DC Young Fly, a, com a comedy inspiration from Instagram? He grew a big fan base off his personality and funny skits. I know you. I know you've seen a few of those in the from the. Fuck you mean and a bring that ass here boy. All that yeah, no pun intended, but um many people still might find might be finding funny till this day. Um Young Fly DC Young Fly now have become a member on Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out on MTV too. He co stars on a popular growing podcast, the eighty the 85th South Comedy Show, and on YouTube, and co-stars, he co-starred in a movie called Almost Christmas that came to theaters last year. This goes to show you that young entrepreneurs are on the rise and is growing at a rapid pace because millennials now know that promoting their brand and content on these online social media platforms might produce the opportunity, opportunity they might need to actually make it to the next level. So, take DC Young Fly as a big example. Take Money and Violence as a big example. We're going to start with Money and Violence. Well, as you see, Money and Violence, they put out their first season on YouTube with over 20 episodes. Their first season had enough for two seasons. Had enough episodes for two seasons. Um, And, you know, it just started growing. It, it grew organically, and, you know, word to mouth. And then next thing you know, bigger distribution starts to hear about it. And, you know, bigger production companies. And, and also streaming services. So, with that being said, you, you use these, these platforms. I, I'm pretty sure they use Twitter, Instagram. You know, word a lot of word of mouth to get this. And a lot of, sh you know, they, they, I've seen them go out, do a lot of press runs for the second season, uh, Build up funds for the second season. A lot of legwork. Um, and with um DC Young Fly, you seen him on Instagram. He went from comedy making c comedy skits on Instagram and YouTube, and music. Actually, he's very talented. Um. But once again, Instagram and YouTube, he he uses those platforms and Twitter and people seen the, his talent, which made them you know wonder like, what can this kid do? What else can this kid do?
So with that being said, um, you just work hard. Just keep working hard. Just work hard until, you know, when you know the time comes. You always know when the time comes. So now we're going to go into our second song break. This is Myself by Apo featuring, uh, um, sorry, produced by Andre, Myself. That bro shit, bro shit. Yeah, yeah, man. We ain't doing that shit no more. Hey, hey. I told myself. Hey, go get some money, bruh. That what I told myself. I don't know them niggas, but I know myself. Ain't nobody teach me shit. I had to show myself. That's why I'm grinding hard. Like I owe myself. I think I need some help. I can't control myself. I'm the president. I vote myself, cause I keep it silent, yeah. I can't fold myself, gotta get the M's, that's what I owe myself. I came down in the trenches, I was broke, I keep it silent, yeah. I can't fold myself, gotta get the, I can't fold myself, gotta get the M's, that's what I owe myself. I came down in the trenches, I was broke, scraping up change with the fucking smoke. When you're down bad, man, it ain't a joke When you ain't got no cash, boy, you turn ghost So fuck a little bit, bitch, I want the most Now I'm taking flights to the West Coast I remember I was lost, now I'm a winner Now I got sauce like on eating chicken tenders And it's M.O.B. forever, niggas tender And you only get one shot, I feel like Gemma My day, man. It's just not my fucking day. Yeah, man. Fuck that bro shit, bro shit. Yeah, yeah man. We ain't doing that shit no more. Yeah, hey. I 
I told myself. Hey. Go get some money, bruh. That's what I told myself. I don't know them niggas, but I know myself. Ain't nobody give me shit, I had to show myself. That's why I'm grinding hard, like I owe myself. I think I need some help, I can't control myself. I'm the president, and I vote myself. Cause I keep it silent, I can't fold myself. Gotta get the M's, that's what I owe myself. I down in the trenches, I was broke. Scraping up change with the fucking smoke. When you're down bad, man, it ain't a joke. When you ain't got no cash, boy, you turn ghost. So fuck a little bit, bitch, I want the most. Now I'm taking flights to the West Coast. I remember I was lost, now I'm a winner. Now I got sauce like I'm eating chicken tenders. And it's MOB forever, niggas tender. And you only get one shot, I feel like Gemma. Yeah. So you know I'm finna hit it. And I'm just tryna get it. RIP to BK. He was the king of the midget. I ain't had shit. I had to give me something. I just take that money. After what she coming. When she put up on me, I was already dumbing. Smoking Mary Jane. That's my other woman. Go get some money, bruh. That's what I told myself. I don't know them niggas, but I know myself Ain't nobody give me shit, I had to show myself That's why I'm grinding hard, like I owe myself I think I need some help, I can't control myself I'm the president, and I vote myself Cause I keep it silent, I can't fold myself Gotta get the M's, that's what I owe myself I owe it to myself, I do I owe it to my wealth, I do I come back on that red meat, I okay. owe it to my, my health I do All this kush I smoke, mama say I need some help Damn. The weed help me win, yeah, I pull like Michael Phelps You better learn how to swim, yeah. you're on the couch like Tim Why? I can't be like him, uh-uh, I need me a M Better yet like 30, 30. I'm on this bitch, call me dirty It's Sanchez, the young Mexican, I'm smoking candy and more than her Fuck your bitch, uh -uh. cause her attitude was shitty Girl. Heard your boyfriend a snitch, Damn. guess that make you miss piggy Damn. And we don't do the baking, uh -uh. bitch I'm already baking <laughs> When you start getting money, you can tell who hate you can. You wasn't there when I was broke, so you can tell me naked uh -uh. When you start getting money, you can tell who hate you Wasn't there when I was broke, Damn. you can tell me Fuck it, better go get some money, bruh That what I told myself Shit, I had to show myself That's why I'm grinding hard Like I owe myself I think I need some help I can't control myself I'm the president And I vote myself Cause I keep it silent I can't fold myself Gotta get the M's That's what I owe myself Yeah.
We're back, we're back. That was myself by Apo, produced by Andre, and down by Jacoby. All right. To sum up our show, millennials are on the rise through different ventures, independently and major, with the help of social media platforms to display their business, content, and brand. Once again, happy Memorial Weekend. Tune in every Sunday. At 6 p.m. on Imperial Gift Radio, www.imperialgiftradio, imperialgiftpromotions.com. Sorry. Um. Also, need any promotion for small businesses, clothing, modeling, music, beauty, or health products, and more? Go to imperialgiftpromotions.com or contact them on social media: Facebook at Imperial Gift Promotions, Twitter at Imperial Gift Pro, Instagram at Imperial Gift Promo. Want your content mentioned on our podcast show? Please email us at reachthetoppodcast at gmail.com. Special Instagram shout outs. A Web Designs need a website, logo, song art cover, book art, book cover art, album cover art, and more. Go to follow A and A Web Designs. DM us. Sorry, DM them and see it and see their um specials from Memorial Weekend. Also, Instagram special Instagram shoutouts to Facials by Shea Beauty in a Jar Facial Mask, uh, for the healthy, you know, uh, uh, natural, you know, facial facial mask with different flavors, um, fruits of a different um textures of skins and some to tighten up your skin some to make your skin glow better you know and these are all natural fruits blended in a mix so you should follow facials by shade on instagram um once again thank you all for tuning in please tell a friend to tell a friend also follow us on social media instagram in Facebook at Reach the Top Podcast and on Twitter at Reach the Top PC to keep up with our weekly topics and see what they will be on. One love, one heart, and God bless. No beef in the spot, you no beef in the make it hot. I can name reasons why they not, but I'm too busy on my way to the top. On my way to the top, on my way to the top. I can name reasons why they not, but I'm too busy on my way to the top.
know we in the spot. You know we finna make it hot. I can name reasons why they not. But I'm too busy on my way to the top.